So I'm getting my last shots today from my back injury. I don't know how much I can record. I want to do a video on this because it's a big issue that I've been going through. And I know a lot of people are having the same problem out there in the world. Maybe my story can help someone. But I just haven't been able to record a lot of this stuff in the doctor. I don't want to be disrespectful, especially because they've been so nice. But I'm getting ready for my last set of shots. This is my third set. Um, the first shots didn't help too much. Second set of shots took a lot away from my butt cheek region where I had a lot of pain. Um, it's down to, to minimal. Uh, still acts up, but it's for the most part doing better. And the pain has kind of traveled down to my knees. So, or to my uh, calf, my left calf. So, this next, this last set of shots is gonna target my calf area. Hopefully that takes care of that area and I can start sort of, you know, self-recovering. Doing some simple stretches at home and stuff like that. Okay. But anyways. Let's see what happens afterwards. I wanted to make a video that I've been dying to make for a long time now about a issue that I had last year going into this year and actually the year prior as well. Um, I ended up having two herniated discs. Ouch. I ended up having two herniated discs. Um, it happened to me first in 2017 like October time frame and I was out for like four months it was debilitating it was horrible it was it was just the worst thing I've ever experienced uh, I'm 32 years old I'm a father of six uh, I'm a former marine and I have never ever experienced pain on that level um, ever before. So I ended up overcoming it the first time uh, through a chiropractor. Um, and that chiropractor, he helped me recover over time. It took him about maybe two months to really get me going. I don't, I learned later the second time it helped me, the second time this happened to me, I learned that a chiropractor is not the best thing to do when you have herniated discs. I didn't know where to go, I didn't know what to do. The help that I was trying to get from the VA was crap, to say the least. And um, so I kind of sought my own treatment and this chiropractor helped me. Um, very good man, uh, nice guy. He was very nice to me, very helpful, very insightful. And he got me back to working order just in time for a work trip that I was scheduled to go to um, in Denver. And actually he helped a lot more than that because I ended up having my baby and I was able to help through the, the whole process of the last few months. He ended up being born with a very rare condition, um, trisomy nine, which if you guys want me to make a video about that as well, I, I, I don't mind, I'll talk to my girlfriend to see if it's okay, if she's okay with it first, but um, we were at a pretty bad place then, so the last thing I needed was for me to be just completely immobile. And uh, he got me into working order just in time for my baby to be born. We spent a month in the NICU, um, and we were home in uh, 29 days actually. So this, this guy helped me out a lot. Um, fast forward a year, almost a year to the day, I ended up uh, going on this work trip to Denver, which is another vlog I'm making that I haven't had time to make. I'll probably film it after this one. Um, I ended up going to Denver on a work trip and it was a great time. It was awesome. I learned a lot of stuff. I got to meet some uh, high ranking officials in, in my company. I uh, got to drink with a lot of high-ranking officials in the company, a lot. It was pretty awesome. Ray, uh, if for whatever reason you watch this video, had a great time, man. Awesome. Um, 
And that weekend that I came back, it was like a five day trip. I came back on a Friday and I had to work that weekend. So Saturday, I worked all day Saturday and on my way back home from work, I stopped to get some five gallon water jugs for the house of water, purified water. And uh, I had three of them. So I took three of them, I got them filled up and I brought them in and that night, I, my back was stiff. I figured, you know what, maybe just from the water jugs or something, I don't know, I'll sleep it off and I'll be ready in time for work. I woke up Sunday morning, I had to go straight to the ER. It was bad. I couldn't even, like my bed is right there. I couldn't even make it to the restroom, which is like right here. That, that's how bad it was. So, the next, that was, yeah, that was like in September. October, November, December, January. I was in excruciating pain. It was the most horrible thing I had ever, it was worse than the first time. I was able to bounce back pretty decent the first time, but this time around it was just much worse. I, I went back to my chiropractor. He started helping me, but it wasn't, I wasn't getting the, the same results. I wasn't having the same effect with the chiropractor. Um, I decided to give about two weeks off and he suggested maybe some massage therapy. So two weeks later, I came in for a massage therapy and one of his nurses is massaging me and she breaks the bad news to me that during this two week period, my chiropractor died. He passed away, unfortunately, um, uh, after a biking event. He likes to bike. He seemed like he looked like a really healthy guy. He was maybe in his early forties. Um, left behind three children, a wife. It was it was pretty shocking. They tried to get the news out to all the patients, but I guess they must have missed some of us. So mid massage, she has to break the bad news to me. And I'm, I'm honestly not to be rude or, or, or demean the fact that this guy passed away and left a family behind. But I was wondering what the fuck am I gonna do now? Who's gonna help me get through this? Um, I ended up uh, being bedridden for like another month, maybe trying to figure something out. I, I toughed it out going to work. I worked most, most. I was off a few days. I took a lot of my paid time off during this time. I wasted all of it actually, but uh, I had to maintain my job. It was horrible. I finally got with a local uh, facility that does MRIs. They ran the MRI, they concluded that I had two herniated discs in my lumbar, my L4, L5. I have an L5 and S1, is that right? I have a, usually you have L1 through L5 and then your L5, S1 is your butt, your tailbone. I actually have a L5, L6, L6, S1. For those of you that have been in this situation and know a little bit about anatomy, I have an extra vertebrae. But my L4, L5 was like a whole centimeter out. And no, yeah, yeah. And my L6, S1 was like half a centimeter, something like five millimeters out. That was causing, that was enough to cause the build. That's about the width of a dime. I don't even have a dime here. But to give you an idea, it's, it's about the width, width of a dime, not the overall circumference, but the width of the dime. That was enough to cause debilitating pain all the way down to the left side of my leg, all the way down to the toes. My my last three toes, my pinky toe and the two after that were completely numb after like short distances. I mean short, like from my bed to the front of my house, which I have like a, I don't know, it's like a 1200, maybe 1300 square foot home. Um, so it's, it's, it's a, it's a, not a, it's not a big home. It's not a small home. It's a normal home. Um, I couldn't even walk that distance without dying of pain. Um, <clears throat> so the MRI gave me that, let me know kind of where I was with that. And from there, I met a gentleman by the name of Dr. Dean Smith here in El Paso. Uh, this guy, he kind of read me the MRI results and told me, basically at my age, it's kind of rare to have, I have two herniated discs and the other two are dehydrated. Um, with a little bit of scoliosis thrown in there just for shits and giggles. He told me that <clears throat> 
right away it screams surgery. Uh, he said it was pretty not invasive. Um, they make a hole or an incision on, on my hip or close to my hip area and my pelvis area. Um, they fit all the instruments through basically a straw, uh, cut the excess piece of um, disc and close me up and, and I recover. Um, but because of my age, he said that he would rather avoid surgery because I have two more discs that could potentially slip out at any time. <coughs> and um, he didn't want me to be going in for multiple surgeries in the same area because of scarring and tissue and, and limited range of movement after a while. Made sense. And I didn't want surgery to begin with, although I was desperate. So he then referred me to another gentleman. Uh, Dr. Dean Smith is an MD. He's an orthopedic spine surgeon here in El Paso. If you guys are having the same issue, issue here in the El Paso area, New Mexico, Arizona, Albuquerque, uh, I don't know, Rio Doso, Dallas, Houston. I'm sure there's, there's in these bigger cities you guys have your specialists, but if you guys are kind of out here in, in West Texas and you need back relief and you need somebody to help you and you don't know where to go, check out Dr. Dean Smith. He's a very nice man. His staff is very nice. I checked the ratings to all of the places that I went and they all have like three stars. Some of them you have 2.8 stars. People bitch and complain. I had a great experience. They were, everybody was really nice to me. I don't know it's because I'm a veteran. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not a white guy. My credit isn't the best. So, if I get treated nicely, I'm sh I like to think that 9 out of 10 of you people out there should be getting the same treatment, hopefully. Um, but he ended up uh, referring me to a gentleman by the name of Dr. Ibrahim. Um, here in El Paso, he's also um, an MD. And he helped, he's the one that actually... Um, refer or uh, suggested that I do steroid epidural steroid injections. I went ahead and said okay. They cost a motherfucker, but it's a lot cheaper than surgery. Uh, I think it was like around seven hundred bucks for two shots. It could change, you know, this political climate and stuff like that changes the prices of stuff. Hmm. Well, I don't know about political climate, but. Economical stuff, economical climates could change this. But around 700 bucks for a pair of shots, I ended up getting a total of five shots. I went in, got two. And the doctor told me this, Dr. Ibrahim told me this from day one. He said, this isn't gonna work right away. This is maybe gonna knock out uh, a quarter of your pain. So, you're gonna have to come back for another set after that, and then hopefully the third set really does the charm. So I said, okay, doc. He was really honest with me from the get-go, really nice man, tall dude. <clears throat> and he's he was very adamant about wanting to help me, and, and he gave it to me straight. This might not help. This might only help for a while. This might be permanent. We don't know. It's a 50-50, um, but it's given your age, you have a good chance of healing up pretty good. So I said, let's do it. So I went in, first set of shots. They did. They got. They were enough to get me like out of bed on the weekends and kind of start struggling into a normal life. But I still had a lot of pain, and I had. It was affecting my left side only. Um, I had like my butt cheek was in pain, my 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 calf, my knee, the back of my knee. I couldn't like, squeeze the nerve back there, and it would just fire up my leg. Um, my toes were just numb after too much walking. And by too much walking, I mean like 100 yards and I was just ready to die. Um, <clears throat> but they really did kind of help get me out of bed and start doing very little things around the house, very little things. Um, I'd go in, they'd give me like a little cocktail that kind of makes me, they wouldn't fully put me down, but they'd kind of give me something to relax me, get me a little groggy, a little drowsy. And the doctor uses a, a uh, x-ray monitor to put the needle in through my back <clears throat> I'm looking back like well, who's back there who back there um, he would put the needle in through my back uh, close to the um, 
the the area that was that had the the disc protruding and he would do the same thing for the 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 disc for both discs that were herniated um and come back out i was already in and out five minutes you know they would get my vitals i changed into the, the the gown and that was it and uh i did that a second time about a month later i went in for the second set of shots it was only one shot that time and the second one really took a lot of pain off of my butt cheek and my back believe it or not i still had a lot of pain in my calf but he was like okay you're gonna come in next month we're gonna give you another two i'm gonna give you one for each disc again and that should really drive it home and that third set of shots guys this was this took about a month and a half to complete that third set of shots about every time i would go in for this procedure like the first day that day i'd be just out because of the meds the next day i'd be in in a different kind of pain you know like like somebody just put a big needle in my back kind of pain um and then the third day i'd be feeling good kind of good right better i have less pain than before but that third time I went in for the sec for the third set of shots, the first week I was uh, okay. I was moving around more and, and stuff like that. But after that, guys, it was like gain after gain after gain. I was walking further. I had less pain every day. I was doing more. It was just incredible. And within like a month, I was almost back to like working order. I was back to work. I was getting my 40 hours at work again. We work in a big facility. It's a big facility. There's a lot of walking. So I was able to walk again. Uh, not that much, but like way more than, than I was before. And it was just, it was incredible. The, the gains after that were incredible. Now it's been, it's April. This it's been about two months and i'm back at my local church playing the drums i'm a drummer as well um i can carry my baby i was able to pay i was, I was wrestling with my two sons i have six children three boys and three girls i was wrestling with my two older sons the other day in their room throwing them around the room and picking them up and putting them down i have a six-year-old boy and a 13 year old boy so you know uh, I'm able to kiss my daughters to sleep at night now instead of just wanting to get home and get to bed and just sleep the pain away. Um, those four months that I had this back issue was sleepless nights, man. I don't know how I'm, I survived that. I honestly thought about putting a bullet in my head uh, at one point. And I, I consider myself pretty mentally resilient. I mean, you know, I'm not like some crazy war-torn veteran or something like that, but... You know, I have a pretty strong mental capacity for trauma, but that really made me, that was really challenging. That pain of, of that sciatic nerve just being pressed by those nerves is debilitating. It is debilitating. I would not wish that on anybody. And to those of you who are experiencing this right now, there's hope out there. Don't give up. I, I took it for almost four months before I got help. I was at my wits end as well. Um, I saw a lot of YouTube videos that kind of helped guide me in the right direction. Find your local doctor, uh, an MD, a spine specialist. If you have to travel a few miles, please uh, get in touch with these people. If surgery is not an option for you guys and you're under the age of 40, try these these shots i don't want to endorse these shots because i saw a lot of i saw a lot of videos that suggest that the shots don't necessarily work that they can rupture certain uh walls in your spine and they can cause very a lot of damage but guys i i hope that if you guys end up doing the same thing that you guys have the same results that i did i went in three times and each time i came out okay and now I'm, I'm back to 100%. Now I have to lose a little bit of weight and start getting a little active, doing very, very low intensity things. But there's hope out there, guys. You can do it. If you guys need any help, if you guys have any questions for me, follow up questions, you know, um, hit me up on, on the comments below. 
But yeah, sciatica. It's a bitch. Um, lower lumbar disc degeneration, all that stuff. It's a bitch, dude. So a lot of you people, and it's it ranges all ages. I see middle aged people, people in their forties and their fifties. I've seen young kids, seventeen years old, eighteen. This thing does not discriminate. This kind of disease, this kind of thing does not discriminate. I know they say it's common in this person or that person or this this age, that age. Uh, the YouTube videos I saw, there was a boy that was 19 years old. I, I'm pretty sure I could look him up. 19 years old, and he had he was going to college or something, and he had a basketball degree and or scholarship, and he got hit with it. There was a young lady, I think she was like 17 years old, very pretty girl. She got hit with it. People in their 40s, 50s, 60s that are that, that live with this for decades, people. I only lived with it for a few months. Fuck that. So get help. There's help out there uh, in your local area. You just have to get out there. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not going to be cheap. But get yourself fixed up as soon as you can. If you have to borrow money, my mother helped me as well. She helped me. Uh, she took out a loan. Uh, thankfully, I was able to pay that back once I got um, my back fixed and back to regular hours at work. But guys, I had to dig into my savings. My kids almost didn't have a Christmas. My kids had a Christmas, but it's only because family came through. But my kids almost didn't have a Christmas. It, it was bad. It's bad. I feel you. I feel you guys out there. So just stay hopeful, stay tough, and, and I hope uh, this video helps you in some way, shape, or form.